Hello, Matt with Test of the Week, and this week I'm going to be testing. Uh, it's not going to be a full test, but um, I'm going to give this one a go. Uh, I've got a few of these uh, motors now. It's the RC in power uh, G2306 2200 kV motor, and basically, I bought a couple of the. Well, I bought one of these a while ago, and then I bought a couple more. Uh, for putting in my uh, glue and go jets that I bought from Hobby King and I've put me issue 27 together um, where is it yeah I bought uh, this one and the J20 um, and this can actually take up to an 8 inch prop on it um, and I was planning on running uh, the 2200 kV motor just on three cell with uh, one of these props because um, it can take up to an eight inch prop so I wanted to run a seven inch prop rather than just a six inch prop but um, and on three cell you know so I could fit a, a larger capacity three cell get a longer flight time um, but yeah I tried it and it didn't really work out that brilliant um, it just didn't didn't have much get up and go as I could as you could say um, and probably because of the lower pitch or something I don't know um, but yeah it just didn't really have enough oomph um, so I, I did give this a go on because the, the the motor could turn it very easily it was only drawing I don't know 23 amps or something um, with this prop on 3 cell so it was it's running it pretty easy um, and I wanted to run it on 3 cell because I've got um, some 2200 zippy compacts that um, I just don't seem to be using at the moment so I want to use them in this um, so I want to run it on 3 cell but yeah just didn't have enough go in it and I tried running it on 4 cell and the motor could take it but these propellers couldn't basically <laughs> um, it just started to warp terribly and just start to almost vibrate the motor out the out the plane. Um, so, yeah, these are just a little bit too bendy to run uh, serious high power. Um, so, yeah, so I've gone back to thinking I'm going to have to run this on a six-inch prop on four cell. Uh, to get the sort of performance I wanted um, so I've ordered a couple of four cells actually got these, actually ordered those from Banggood because they were on sale so I thought I'd give them a try um, and yeah I'm not going to bother doing a full test with this because it already has a pretty good um, uh, test table on different props so you can see there it's it's already it already gives you a pretty good guide and I find them to be reasonably accurate with the, the props that they've tested um, and this motor can take a max continuous watt for 30 seconds for, of 490 watts and 33 amps so on a plane you'd very rarely be running full throttle for 30 seconds so you could probably take it a little bit higher than uh, the spec say on this in a plane so I reckon f you know 35 to 40 amps and 550 plus watts would probably be pretty uh, capable with this motor um, but basically what I'm going to be doing is running a selection of 6 inch props so I can find out what is going to be the best performer for my SU27 so I've got a selection of 6 inch props here I'm going to test them all on 4 cell and see which works best I thought I'd share the test with you so you can see how it goes so I've got one of these on the test rig waiting to go so let's try it out Okay, got it in the test rig, and this may not be quite exactly the same setup as I'm using in the SU27, um, but 
but it's the same motor it's not the one out of it it's another one that I've got and I'm going to be using one of these Hobby King 40 amp ESC's um, it's not the one that I've got in the SU27 but it's very similar and I'm going to be using a Zippy 1800 milliamp uh, what they 35C uh, Zippy compacts be similar to what I'm going to be using for the ones that I got from Banggood so the first prop I'm going to try is pretty much what most people will be using is a APC 6x4 electric prop so let's give this a go good <laughs> see that's a little bit over <laughs> what the specs say and that's the first run on the motor so I doubt there'd be much temperature in that Try and get a temperature on the windings. So it's 30 degrees. Oops. Right. That went bad. Let's try another motor. Okay, this is an APC 6x4 gas prop. So this is meant for petrol engines. Same battery. Let's see what happens here. Blimey. <laughs> that was pretty good. And a bit less amp draw. So less watts. So that was pretty good. <laughs> that certainly whizzed up. Right, let's try the next prop. Okay, I think this will probably put out a good thrust number, but it might be a bit too much on the amp draw. It's a DYS uh, 6x4.5 ball nose prop. Same as the APC gas prop, but let's see what we get. Cool, oh, blimey. <laughs> yes, I'd say that was. That was probably way too much. Yeah, that motor's a bit warm. So I won't be using that one. So let's go on to the next prop. Okay, this is a TGS 6x4. Uh, also known as EMP props, but on Banggood they're known as KMP props. But it's a 6x4, still on 4S. bad pretty good performer right I've still got a couple more to try okay this is a Dow prop 60 40 prop okay so let's give that another test on 4s current draw it's got the least current draw out of them blimey <laughs> I may end up using that one alright let's try the next prop 
Okay, this is a bit higher pitch. This is a Hobby King 6x5. And I'm guessing it's a ball nose prop. So let's give this a try. That gave out a lot of thrust. That performed really well. Let's see what we get. Ooh. <laughs> yes. It's a bit high on the old amp draw there. Ooh, it looks a bit warm. There's the old temperature gauge. Yeah, just even on that, it was. Uh, yeah, it's over over 40 degrees, so I think that's a bit much. Got one more prop to try. Okay, uh, these props, um, I just got them in the post today. Actually, uh, they came all the way from China. Um, I got them off eBay. Um, not really sure what make they are. They are Octay. I don't know what they were listed as. Uh, but yeah, I got them off eBay. So I think it was like three pounds or something with free shipping. Or I can't remember. <laughs> but let's give this last proper try on 4S. That's a pretty good performer. Pretty um, economic. 32 amps. That's uh, pretty good. So I think the um, what is it, the Dow prop performed best, I think. Uh, had the least amount of current draw, but I um, don't quite think it was the most thrust. Right, anyway, uh, that's the end of this motor test. If you like this video, please give it a like. Yeah, please give it a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't been here before. And uh, I'll see you again next week. I might try and get another motor test video done this week. This wasn't a full test, but anyway, at least I've uh, pretty much covered what would be a good 6 inch prop on 4S for the RC Impower 2200KV motor. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.